Welcome back to Turf Talk here with Van Tansen. This week it's Hall Talk. Hall of Fame nominees released today, Monday, March 2nd. Uh, to my eyes, some gimmies, to others, not so much. And the other way around. Some people think some of the nominees are a slam dunk. Not so much for me. Long time waiting for King Leatherberry. Extra Heat, another one people are talking about. King's in for me, but not Heat. What do you got? Uh, King Leatherberry obviously is a huge favorite, especially over his competition, David Whiteley, who we haven't heard too much out of in the last 30 <laughs> years or so, even though he trained three champions and had a Belmont Stakes winner in Coastal. Uh, extra Heat, I think uh, she's going to be another popular horse uh, to be in the Hall of Fame. A great record, 20, what, 27 stakes victories to her credit. Yep. And uh, controversially, in my opinion, <laughs> backed into a three-year-old Philly title back in 2001. But uh, as far as sprinters goes, she's one of the best Phillies and mares of all time. Sure. Yeah, for me, it, it, it's a, it, some hypocritical nature to how I vote. I mean, King, for me, is a slam dunk. I think he should have been on years ago. I have no idea why he wasn't on the ballot, let alone in the Hall of Fame. Yet, for extra heat, I look and see one grade one win, and I say that's not good enough. The three-year-old championship, she won based on a race she lost. People gave her credit for the Breeders' Cup sprint. I mean, to me, either you win or lose a race when it comes to championships, especially if you're going to back into it like that. It's one thing to be second by a nose in the Classic when you were undefeated the rest of the year, but she didn't have the body of work, flute or exogenous hat, I thought. And just from a Hall of Fame perspective, when your best wins the Prioress, I, I can't. Yeah, I think the jockey and trainer categories are typically strong. Uh, we got a lot of great qualified jockeys this year. Uh, I think Craig Peretz waited a long time uh, to get into the Hall of Fame. He would be my selection if I had a vote. Uh, but as usual, I think the horses uh, up for uh, nominee, nomination this year are just a don't uh, get my fires burning so right. much. We got two sprinters, Kona Gold and Extra Heat, but uh, you know. Yeah, they might be worthy of Hall of Fame induction, but, you know, one of the greatest sprinters I ever saw, Groovy, has never been on the ballot, <laughs> and I would think he would get in, should get in first before either of those two. Um, also, we have Lava Man, great California handicap star of about a decade ago, didn't do so much outside of California, <laughs> no. wasn't a champion uh, as far as Eclipse Award voting. And then Black Tie Affair, who... Uh, only had two grade one wins to his credit. He was a rather ordinary horse of the year, in my opinion. Uh, I will go to my grave saying that uh, he was not even the best older male of 1991. So uh, I'm not. I'm a little wary of him, and uh, after all these years, he's finally on the ballot. Yeah. Well, we have ten nominees. Four get in. The top four vote getters. You don't have to vote for four. I'm probably only going to vote for two. I haven't looked at it enough to say for sure. King Leatherberry, obviously, and, and I am going to give Lava Man the nod. I think if he had won the similar races in New York, he there, we wouldn't even be talking about it. He would be in no matter what. So I look at the big cap, Hollywood Gold Cup and Pacific Classic in the same year, any one, each of them multiple times as well. I think if he had won the Woodward Jockey Club Gold Cup and Whitney that many times, it, it'd be a no-brainer. And we've seen that with, I forget her name, but the Chiefs, Philly, who only won in New York, and she's Sky in. Beauty. Yeah, thank you. So, you know, there's precedent, and I hate to turn it into a bias argument, but to me, you win those races that many times, champion or not, I'm gonna get you in. So even on a synthetic surface, mostly. Well, I mean, he no, that wasn't up to the connections. I mean, that that was out there, and it, they were Grade Ones. I mean, that they, they had the designation, and if I hold that against extra heat, I feel I have to count it for the ones who do it. So. Those are the two for sure. Need to look at the jockeys a little more closely. Craig, Chris Antley, I, I do favor derby winners. That's why I voted Burrell. So to me, that's an issue. But for now, those are the two I got. Sounds good. All right. We got to get you a vote. Sounds good, too. <laughs> we'll see you next week for Turf Talk.